What's up, friends? This is Jazz bringing you, well, a video to say to vote on. Uh, like I'm going to revamp my Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life series, and I want you guys to vote for my potential girl to woo. And I am going to tell you some details about each of them as much as I can, and I will go in a certain order. So. Here we go. The first one I'm putting up for grabs is obviously alphabetical order, Celia. And she is the girl with the with the uh bandana who works down in the Festa's farm. And she is by far the easiest one to woo. Because she likes things like the moon ore. Well that's not that's kinda hard, but she can she'll like things like all the flowers you can find laying around. She'll have eggs and milk and coins that could be found at the mine and that way she is the easiest because flowers are easily producible in that game and i'm going to give you some information on Celia's son because this may have a big thing to you because most of the game is based on raising your child like second year on you're raising your child and I'm going to read the personality of the child. Like, he is likely to take over the farm, which is your main goal, usually, to get, raise your son to want to take over the farm. It's the best outcome of the game. And it shows his strengths and weaknesses. With animals, he has a very he's very high in that skill. And crops, he's also very high, which is needed to the farm. He's low in music, but that's no big deal to me. He's high in art and very low in both exercise and science learning. So if you want a best outcome, it's most likely you would choose him anyway, because his love for crops are very high and it's high for animals and it's low for almost everything else. So I'm just pretty much telling you the statistics for Celia's son. I mean, it all does based on how you raise him, too. You've got to encourage him to do these things, but if you want an easy, if you want me to have an easy time to woo her and to have a son that's most likely to take over the farm, then Celia is our girl. But I want you guys to literally vote for it. So, on to the next girl. The next girl I bring in you is Muffy, the blonde haired chick from the bar, Griffin's bar. She is about, a, I'll say moderate to woo because she will take all flowers and she'll take milk and cooked dishes except for fish. She also takes moon ore and old coins. I'd say she is not terribly hard like the last one I'm going to mention, but she's not as easy as Celia. So, I'm going to bring you the stats on Celia's son. The personality of his son is he is least likely to take over the farm after the main character dies. Compared to the other two the children, he's adventurous and energetic, hardest to, manip hardest to manipulate and address. That is a thing, guys. Like, his mother may be easy to woo, but you're more likely not to get him take over your farm. So, that way, it's not a good thing to have him as your son. No offense. But, like, and his strengths and weaknesses are with animals, it is very low. With crops, it is low. So, the very, like, it's not very likely he would take over the farm because of this. And with his interests, the only good thing is that he has a high interest in animals. But he doesn't have a good skill in them. And crops are low in, it, in his mind. So he would not most likely take over the farm. He's a cute little thing. He takes after his mother like Celia's son does. But he would most likely exceed in music and exercise. If you want me to have a son like that, then you can vote for... Muffy and her son, whatever name we would name the kid. So, well, that is about it for Muffy. Now on to the last candidate. 
Last but not least, we have Nami. Now, she is by far the hardest to woo. Because she only takes certain flowers, which is Trick Blue and Jim, and Jim Soil flowers. Well, I guess she'll take Jade, well, Jade Ball. She would take coins, she'll take cook dishes, high quality crops, and milk. The hardest to woo of all of them. And the worst thing about it is she is everywhere. She, she gets up very early or late. Nine is the average time and she can be anywhere in the valley at any time. So to give her a gift, you need not only to get her a good, perfect gift, but to find her as well. But on the plus side, Nami's son has the highest genetic strengths, and he is the easiest to manipulate of the three. He is the most so calm and sensitive of the three children. So in other words, he may have low and some skills, but he can be manipulated the easiest of the three. And his personality, like below is a table of genetic strength. All right. So in both animal and crops, he is high. He's not quite like Muffy's son. So he's easier to manipulate than Muffy's son. But not as much as Celia's son. He'd be less likely than Celia's, but more likely than Muffy's to take over the farm. He's high, she's, he's high in almost everything but exercise and science. So if you want, if you want not, if you, if you don't want, if you don't want, if you want to exercise in science, like, kid, Nami's son is not your son at all. Personally, I think Nami, as cute as she is, is not quite worth it because it'll take all, like, yes, her son is easy to manipulate, but her, she isn't. She is the complete opposite of her son there. You have to do a lot just to impress her. So, but anyway, guys, I do want you guys to vote for the one I woo. No matter what, I'll find a way I will woo you, even Nami. I want you guys to choose. I already recorded my first episode, so you can't ignore some of the things there. I decided to make an early choosing video. That way I can continue recording the footage for this Let's Play for I Won't Fall Behind. So anyway, I gave you as much information as I could on each of the characters and what I think about them. Personally, Celia's the easiest to woo, and she's nice. She'd be good for the farm, but at the same token, I want, like, everyone chooses Celia for that reason. So, but I want you guys to choose whether you want me to have the easiest time or the hardest time in this game. Let me know down below. I will see you guys in my next video.